Hey everyone, back down at the shop. Do a couple more little improvements. Uh, wasn't, didn't really need to make a, a video about this, but I figured, uh, why not? Worst case is you can click and not watch it. Uh, anyways, uh, I've been mentioning how I wanted to get the tool wrap, the hand tool rack that goes on uh, the trailer. And I was planning on mounting it probably right here to balance out the rest of the green touch stuff that I have. I also contemplated here on the front Still kind of going back and forth in my mind. Uh, like I said, on the front will eliminate me being able to put the ramp that I may add here, but it would be nice to have it here if I was standing in the back of the truck, say cleaning out the back of the truck and I could reach over and grab hand tools. Um, also would allow me to grab hand tools from either side of the trailer. Uh, but I think I'm gonna stick with the, uh, the side for now. So I did pick up a green touch tool rack in the back here just got it in the mail pretty simple install just two bolts but uh, the bolts that it come with are this here which as we know from past videos isn't gonna work for me uh, so I got the longer ones to be able to reach through the uh, let me shut that ding off to be able to reach through the uh, tubular frame that I have. So hopefully this will be uh, the right length. So I'm gonna reuse the nuts that it came with. And uh, that one, and I think I got the other one here somewhere. Yeah. And here, grabbed a couple of washers. All right, so I'm actually gonna double up on the washers. I'm gonna have a small washer and a big washer underneath each tube, just because that tube metal is kind of thin and I don't want it to crush, being that there's only two bolts holding this on there, I don't want it to wiggle around and, and crush in. So this is my plan. There's two of these bolts go through here, through the frame. And then we're gonna put one of these on the bottom and one of those, and then the, the nut. That way it kind of gives some added stability to where that nut's pushing on the frame so it won't concave in, hopefully. And then I've got this set up. My plan for this, I didn't do any measuring, so this may be a failed attempt, but uh, might be too short. But, uh, as you can see, this kind of has a little bit of a wiggle to it just because it's mounted just here. My plan was to utilize one of the factory holes right here and then put this 3 8 looks like it might just work, be able to reach through the fender. So. I grabbed a couple of spacers. Let's see. Let's see if I can set you up here. Where did that go? Where'd you go? Way under the mower, of course. So my idea here, let's see, how can we get you set up? Let's try holding you like this. Just to put Spacer, spacer. Oh, looks like I got, I got lucky. The space is a little more than I thought it was, but there we go. Uh, I might add a washer or two in there just to take up that little space. But the idea is to drill a hole right in that fender with those spacers and then put a nut lock nut here underneath and that'll help stable this from rocking side to side by connecting to this fender so we'll do that too while we're here there we go yeah because this one's pretty stable really stable this is really stable I've been happy with how everything else is mounted string trimmer rack is as stable as that needs to be Backpack blower rack is really stable because it's mounted on the corner. And now we're gonna put that uh, tool rack, which I forgot to carry over. Let's see how that works out. 
been excited about getting one of these. It's one of those things that, you know, it's really not that big of a deal, but it is. I think it's nice to be able to kind of uh, have a place for everything. Uh, actually, it goes this way. Um, have a place for everything. That way you know if something's missing if you're on a job. Uh, you can see an empty spot and say, hey, I forgot my rake or my edger or whatever. Now, I don't do a lot of uh, landscaping work with this trailer. It's mostly just a mowing trailer, but it is nice to have a leaf rake and, you know, a flat shovel on occasion just to do a quick transplant. Or if you made a little mess somewhere, your, your mower gets clogged up and you want to rake up a little bit. So my idea is to have a set of tools on here. Now, I was hoping I could get a bolt by either side which it looks really close but probably not going to happen because I wanted to mount it right above this rail but I guess I can just mount it right next to it and it'll still be plenty stable enough I think kind of like that might be good I don't see anything else in the way I put the spare tire there that won't be in the way so I'm going to go ahead and grab a clamp something to hold this down so I can mark those holes and we'll uh Go ahead and get that going. On another note, I did pick up those other bolts for the frame. I still haven't done the drilling of the other two, but these two center ones that I was short last time I put these push plates on my last video, I did grab those and bolt those up. Uh, how's that planning? Go with the smaller one.
that's pretty stable. It's a happy day for me. My green touch collection is complete. Finally. Two and a half, five gallon, sure can, sure can? No spill can. Racks, three place trimmer rack. String trimmer line holder, thanks to DLT Lawn Care. On one side. Hand tool holder that I just got. Just mounted it up. She's nice and sturdy. And backpack blower rack. Now they do have obviously a lot more racks than this. Uh, cooler rack, sprayer rack, uh, hand, hand blower rack with uh, for a chainsaw or whatever. The only other thing that I would like to have on the trailer that I don't have right now and I'm not sure how I'm gonna handle it yet is some type of box that keeps uh, things out of the weather. And what I wanna put in it is the uh, attachments that I have for the uh, Echo PAS system. I've got the uh, weed whacker right here, but I've also got an extension. I've got the pole pruner, hedge clipper, and edger attachment. So I'd like to have all of those with me at all times, if possible. What I'm thinking about doing is getting a small, skinny uh, truck box, you know, like that they put on the side right here that opens up from the top. Uh, you can get like, they have them on the left and the right side. If I get one for maybe a six foot bed that's a little shorter than the eight foot, that would fit right in here nicely, I think, right across. And uh, that'll have a lock on it and keep things out of the weather. And hopefully it's long enough to be able to put those attachments in. Because the whole idea of having this is to be able to have a chainsaw, hedge clippers, a power edger, a spare uh, weed whacker, all within one unit. And then I've got my main uh, trimmer right here. So I'm also probably going to add a dedicated edger down here as well. Because those are items I use a lot. The idea for the pole pruner or the uh, combi system is to just use it basically for uh, the pole saw attachment and hedge clipping. When I need it so but yeah uh, 6x12 trailer and uh, I did measure I do have enough room if I want to uh, if I if I park the uh, the walker all the way up here so the decks touching uh, that'll give me about four and a half feet of a space here where I could put a uh, 36 inch uh, standard mower of some type not sure what I want to get yet but I want to eliminate the push mower and with a 36 inch stander, I'm able to do that. And also uh, allows me to not catch grass on a couple of lawns. Um, a lot of the smaller lawns, I could just jump on the stander. So I'm not sitting down all the time. It'd be nice to have that mix. So I do want to get something, probably something that's yellow, just so it matches the walker. So stander might be the way to go. And, um, have that up front with the walker. So the 48, the 36, and then the rack system that I have set up here. So just want to do a little update on that. Pretty happy. The other thing I did, oh, now that I walked to the other side, I added a carriage bolt through this side here using the factory hole, a couple of washes and spacers, and then bolted it underneath here to help steady this gas can holder because it was only connected on the top of the rail in the center and it had too much of a wiggle to it. Now it's nice and tight like this one as I'm applying a lot of force to make that move. So everything on here is really uh, mounted really tight and stout. So pretty happy with that. Some uh, pretty bad roads around here. I drive around bouncing around and it's nice to have, uh, have things mounted really tight so I'm not have to worry about things falling off. So. And uh, I think I showed the truck lettering completed. I did the tailgate. I got the uh, uh, load handler connected up for uh, grass clippings. Got the doors lettered up. Got the stock wheels back on that I mentioned that I wanted to do. With the Goodyear Wrangler, uh, what are they? Kevlar 265 70 17s. 
and uh, gonna use those for probably another year or two until they wear out and then I'll get a size up and those are gonna be my stock wheels and plowing wheels so I may end up getting another set of wheels at some point next season but for now I'm just gonna run run the stock wheels and I got rid of the ones that I had on there the fancy uh, 19 inch ones I also updated the light on top of the truck to the uh, LED style it had the gumball looking square uh, plow light on it when I bought it so I just upgraded to that one there and that is wired in to the factory the factory switch right here so that switch right there with the light on it turns the uh, overhead light on which is really nice for plowing all right guys thanks for watching have a good day